In a significant development, the Supreme Court declared the recent Chandigarh mayoral polls a murder of democracy, accusing the returning officer, Anil Masi, of defacing ballot papers. Chief Justice D.Y. Chandrachud led the bench, expressing strong disapproval and demanding the prosecution of Masi for tampering with election results. The Supreme Court, appalled by the situation, ordered the indefinite deferment of the Chandigarh civic body's first meeting scheduled for February 7. The court addressed a plea by AAP councillor Kuldeep Kumar, challenging a Punjab and Haryana High Court order that denied interim relief for fresh elections supervised by a retired judge. Chief Justice Chandrachud commented during the hearing, emphasizing the seriousness of the situation. Chief Justice Chandrachud said, it is obvious that he has defaced the ballot papers. He needs to be prosecuted. Why is he looking at the camera? This is a mockery of democracy and murdering democracy. We are appalled. The Supreme Court directed Masi to remain present before the court on February 19 to explain his conduct as captured on video. The court underlined the gravity of the situation and emphasized the need for accountability. The BJP had claimed victory in the Chandigarh mayoral polls on January 30, with Manoj Sonkar defeating Aps Kuldeep Kumar. The court stated that the returning officer should be prosecuted as he was seen defacing the ballot papers on video, influencing the election results. The Supreme Court issued a notice to Anil Masi and directed the sequestration of all records of the municipal elections with the High Court Registrar General. The court effectively stayed any activity on the part of the municipal corporation and deferred the February 7 meeting. As legal proceedings unfold, the Supreme Court's intervention highlights the significance of safeguarding the democratic process in the country. Click on the link in the description to read more about the story. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe to Law Today for more updates about what is happening in courts across the country.